so this is our default cube we need to add a plane shift plus a plane tap to edit mode increase the plane size for flat water around the waterfall tap to object mode let's name the plane flat water and name the cube waterfall again shift plus a add a new plane tap to edit mode go to x-ray mode place this plane below the cube this plane will make our bubble for the waterfall let's scale it narrow it more let's name the plane bubble tap to object mode let's make another cube for bubble shape shift plus a cube tap to edit mode let's resize it to a small size tap to object mode select our bigger cube go to material preview go to material then add a new material it's already have a material let's delete it and add a new material name it waterfall go to shading tab go to add then search search for color ramp then search for moss grape texture amus moss grape texture then search for texture coordinate texture coordinate then search for mapping texture coordinate generated to the mapping then mapping vector to the moss grape texture vector height to color ramp fact then the color ramp color to principal bsdf color click the color ramp black indicator then click on the black bar then change it to then change it to our water color you can change the water texture by controlling the color ramp and also the scale of the moss grape texture as you can see let's put it to like 4.2 now go to animation click on this icon then go to shader editor zoom in to the shader go to material preview we can animate the waterfall by changing x y and z value for here i think we need to change the z value as you can see so go to the first frame go to the z value press i click on this icon if you are not seeing the keyframes go to the last frame then again go here let's change it around 3 press i again click on the waterfall arrow at the timeline let's extend them we are changing only the z value so let's delete x and y select the first and last keyframe right click interpolation mode then click on linear to have constant water drop speed let's make the water more dense by changing the scale now select the bigger plane go to material tab then click on this arrow then select the waterfall click on this button to duplicate our waterfall material let's rename it flood water let's run the animation the speed is very high so we need to change the speed select the plane we can change the material here select flood water now go to the last frame let's reduce the speed from 3 to 1 press i again now it's looking more organic let's add some bubbles go to layout select our bubble object then go to particle properties click for new particle select emitter change the number from 1000 to 500 go to velocity change object velocity from 0 to 0 0.5 and randomize 0 0.5 it will randomize the speed of bubble go to solid view and let's run and see our bubbles bubbles are falling down so for that go to field weight then decrease the gravity to zero let's run the animation again so the bubbles are going up but they are going too high so for that go to physics step then change the damping from zero to 0 0.06 now if we run it again see the bubbles are stacking in one place let's go to material preview and see so this is what we got so far if you want to change the shape of the bubbles at the start of the tutorial we made a shape like this cube was our shape let's name it shape select the bubble then go to particle properties then go to render and change from hello to the object then click on the instant object eyedropper and select our shape let's run the bubbles are too small to increase the bubble size increase the scale to have random size increase it to 1 see 
a really simple waterfall.